Hey everybody, it's Joe Roberts from The Normal Outdoors. Today I kind of like to go over the new Merlin saddle I just got from Arrow Hunter. I have been using my kite for three years now and it's also a mesh uh, type saddle. But this Merlin saddle has got quite a bit of more options built into it. So kind of go over them real quick and show you what's new on these. Uh, first off, the Raptor buckles. That's quite a bit of upgrade and uh, very nice. They built in this little webbing for some, some sound dampening. And they've got not only for the waist, but on the leg buckles too. So you know, from the kite here, they just had these old steel um, buckles, which worked you know, fine before. Just the quick detach with these two little finger pusher things. <laughs> uh, not sure what you would call those, but it, it makes it easy for getting on and off and all you would have to do is step through your bridge. They've got suspender loops attached here. I have heard guys using something like that to kind of tighten up ropes or um, any kind of webbing that may be loose. So you could uh, use like a small bungee and tighten up the ropes on the side there. Um, they've spaced out these uh, mole webbings on the back so you've got plenty of room to stick you know, a carabiner or a spiner in there to carry up your sticks. Well, of course the pleat that Arrow Hunter designed here you know, compared to this minimalist uh, kite, this extra little area in here really helps with the comfort um, just sitting down in the saddle more instead of you know, just having it around you. And it'll be a lot more comfortable for longer sits. So they've actually built in two different loops this year. You can take your leg straps and put them on this outer loop or the inner loop, just however big your thighs may be for comfort you know you can have them on the outer loop so they're not so tight to you but I think I'll keep them on the inner loop and then you can also move your bridge to the inner loop or outer loop I haven't had any problem with hip pinch in the saddle uh, I sat in it all weekend and have played around and shot from it and whatnot and I'm loving how I got it set up now they've got this adjustable webbing bridge if you like a longer bridge like me you can bring it all the way out like that there and you know on my kite I actually put this bridge on with these two petzl rings um, because I wanted something longer and permanently attached so this is definitely going to be nice to find exactly where I like my bridge because this one isn't adjustable of course I may like it just a little bit shorter than this one was and it'll be great to play around with that so this saddle uh, is only gonna be weighing two pounds it's super light that's why I went with the kite originally because it was the lighter option of a lot of saddles I could find I really like the mesh because I'm not going to be sweating um, with any kind of fabric, it breathes very well. Quite amazing, Arrow Hunter does such a good job with uh, quality control and stitching and they've been doing it for 30 years in the arborist industry. If you check out New Tribe Saddles, they uh, do a very good job in building those as well. So I really en have enjoyed this kite saddle, it's held up very well for three years walking through some of the thickest brush and I'm sure this Merlin will do just as well. I'm very excited to get some sits in it and try it out. Appreciate you watching and uh, I'll see you next time on the Normal Outdoors.